Good morning. How are we doing? Will, hello. Oh, Saren. Wasted mine. Bill, hello. How are we doing? Oh my goodness. It might be a, a quiet morning here. How are we doing? We've got... I got myself off Elden Ring just long enough. Some paint, some space malinis. So we've got... Yep. <laughs> we've got Imperial Fist we need to paint. So we've got some Assault Intercessors to go with the Terminators that I got. Vanished up here. So here are our boys all together. Uh, I got him. We got the Hospitaller. He's waiting for basing, and then I'll finish him up. The best part is I looked over yesterday while we were playing, and like, I'm gonna arrange my toys the way that they were. <laughs> okay, so the the Termies were here, just chilling, and then I had my Kingdom Death Lady here, like she was leading them. And they were like sitting like this on my desk. And she was just like, yes, go, go and slay my children. <laughs> so they've been sitting like that, and it just makes me laugh every time I look over here. <laughs> what are you guys up to today? Imagine playing Elden Ring nonstop. I know, I had to cosplay as a person who has their shit together today. I don't know how well I'm doing, but we're gonna try. <laughs> yes, have you slept? Probably, probably a little bit, if I had to guess. Tiny, tiny sleep. <laughs> Let's see, Bill says about the Age of Sigmar Chaos release yesterday. Did you know that Chaos Lady has a spear? Just in case. You didn't get the message to Akon. Wow, Bill, I didn't know that. I'm so glad you're here to tell us. Thank you, I appreciate that. Okay, so that was released. Just, I can't keep up with the, the pre-order, like the gap between pre-orders and release and when's what. I can't keep up. Okay, so Chaos is this week. And then obviously the uh, Skaven Tide stuff. People are have got their hands on that. What's everyone else working on? What we got, chat? I have not painted in a few days. I've just been playing Elden Ring. <laughs> You've been on Texas time the last few days. Yep, yep. That was that was the other thing. It's like at some point those two need to run off and do their thing at like normal hours, <laughs> and I will catch up. What the heck? Raven Lord, thank you so much for that sub. 40 months. It's a, it's a heckin' long time, friend. Thank you so much for all the support. How are you today? Welcome, welcome in. I keep having fuzz on my brush. And it's taking me off a little bit. <laughs> okay, trying those again. <laughs> I really hope they tell us more about that lore soon, right? Right? Can't believe they haven't told us yet. Ooh, Saren's building Gundam legs at the moment. Let's go. Man, they're such a good build. I hope you're enjoying. You said you had a Master Grade kit? What more could you possibly want? She's a lady in chaos with a spear. I know, she's pretty cool. If I was going to keep my Slaves to Darkness, I would. I'd probably grab her. But I think I'm going to sell mine because I already have a few armies I want to focus on. Save darkness tool though. More the giant axe. That's true. I would I would rather have an axe, yeah. But can she sheep roll? Well, can she sheep roll? Is anyone else playing Elden Ring? Liam and I have a boss that we got to last night, but we didn't get enough attempts on him before I we had to go to bed. And then I redid my build because I felt like I don't know, I wanted a little bit more utility. So did that before we logged off last night. Play with that when we're back together. Uh, the Master Grade RX-78 version 3. Very cool. This guy is about to come off his base and I'm just going to take him off. I try to lightly tack them so I can get them back off or they're going to get resin bases. But apparently I did it too lightly for this boy. That's okay. <laughs> right, welcome in. How are you? We're glad you live somehow. What you up to today? If we're not playing Elden Ring, what are we doing this weekend? What do we got, chat? Playing any other games? Working on stuff? Argyla, hello! You've been here for two years! Welcome on in. How are you today? We're working on some Imperial Fists. And I'm talking Elden Ring, because that's my life right now. You guys are going to get so sick of hearing about it, but... This is how it is! <laughs> this is just how it is. Also play Elden Ring. There, here's my spiel. The, uh, I will say, 
But the DLC is so large. It kind of feels like it's just Elden Ring too. Just kind of nuts. <laughs> it's kind of crazy how much stuff is in this game. How many times the map is already zoomed out for us. <laughs> I can't wait to show you the better color. Green! <laughs> They're already fighting. Love it. Love it. And how's your weekend? What you up to? I'm going to be very careful since he is not on his base. Makes this a little tricky. Let me come back and maybe we save him for after. I at least want to get the black on. Uh, for these boys, we're doing black trim and we'll do the red for the Aquila on his chest. It's mad how, one, how big it is, how good it is, how easy it is to fall back into no life in it. It's just, this is the one game. I feel like this and Skyrim have been the only games to just absolutely <laughs> take my entire life from me. <laughs> I don't think I've seen this response as positive. Pity is Witcher 3 was the other one, yeah. Maybe like Idris Elba. I, I wish I can get into cyberpunk. I keep trying, and I can't. There, there's something not connecting with it in my brain. I feel like I need to give it one more go before I just give up. Like, maybe if I can get out to the... more of the open world stuff or something. I want it to click so badly for me, and it just... it isn't. It just isn't. Hey, Gashmore, welcome in! How are you today? Anna Tony, how we doing? Welcome, welcome. Not a bad thing to make DLC as good as, um, yeah, CD Project Red. Doing all right. So sisters fire detachment. It's just salamanders. Time to get sisters that ooh that are salamander guards. That could be fun. Sly, hello. How are you? Cyberpunk. Uh, the game. Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven. Not the sorry, not the genre, but the game. I I've tried and I've tried and I've tried. The world I think is the hard part. I need to load it back up and see if it feels weirdly empty despite being filled with NPCs. Something, something wasn't clicking for me. Button, Methallion, thank you so much for hitting button. Thank you for your support. How are you today? How's your weekend going? Welcome, welcome. We're just painting some Imperial Fists today. We've got Assault Intercessors today. This is part of that same commission. Taking a small Elden Ring break to paint some Imperial Fists. I think uh, I get to no life again today after stream, and then it's, you know, back to the old... You know, back to the usual no life. <laughs> I've not tried the DLC yet for it. I never beat the Lord of Blood Boss. Oh, okay. Two's in the way on my main character. Gotcha. Yep. It was really funny. They were posting because they can see the achievements, like how many players have beaten Moog. And like when they started posting, only a third of players had beaten Moog, which you need to do the DLC. So it was like, oh, gosh, a lot of people are going to be <laughs> having to beat this boss this week. To be able to play. So I don't know where it ended up. Like as far as now how many. I guess I can get on Steam and see. But it was just really funny when posting like. Oh only a third of the players can do the DLC. As of this moment. You're working like a sucker. I know I hate this. <laughs> I hate it. At least I get to play Dead Space for work on Wednesday. So I'll take it. I'll take it. Pretty good, thanks. Just finished dinner, now chilling out. Welcome on in. Is there anything you're working on? Any paint projects? Army projects? We've been working on Imperial Fists. Uh, I recently finished some Titanicus. I'm gonna set him down because I don't have a base. Pop her it off. Exalted a little shortest painting stream ever today. That's right. Everyone out. Get back to it. How you doing today? How you feeling? I woke up very tired. <laughs> Once one guy done, we're done. Bye. <laughs> well, we'll see how we feel at the article. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, I might need a uh, recovery time. <laughs> we'll see how we feel at the article. Looks like it may be a quieter day. So I'm fine ending a little early. If that's, uh, you know, if everyone else is also playing Elden Ring, I should, I should be playing Elden Ring. <laughs> Third, but it got great fees. Nice, nice, nice. Back to ringing. Sounds good. Enjoy. It was annoying watching a bunch of TikTok people telling you how easy it is. 
That's a, I think the hard part, and this is Souls games in general, there's always that boss that with your build, it will be a hard counter to you. And there will be that boss that you get to that other people will have an easy time with, but you will have a hard time with. And that can be really frustrating. I saw it when, uh, when Slam and I were doing the base game. There were some where I would go in and one or two shot it, and then we were helping Slam through it. There was one boss that just absolutely hated me, and Slam got through it no problem. <laughs> so there's, a, there's always that one, oh, Saren. Well, I'll pass that on. Yeah, Rakshot, so I won't give away, like, the fight or anything like that, but there was one where Exalted ran in, and the NPC just basically stood there and just got shit on. <laughs> Slam and I were in a game together, and he was flipping and dipping and doing insane combos in our game. <laughs> so it's sometimes it's not even the boss. It's the, uh, I don't know, it's like the game seed or something. <laughs> you just get him on a bad day. So it just, it just happens. <laughs> I beat him first try and get good crowd as annoying, yeah. You also don't know how much experience people have with, like, those types of games. and I don't know. It's. You have those people where that's all they play is Souls games. And of course they're going to think it's easy because they they know the patterns and the, the tricks and things like that. And you just do what you can with what you got. And that's it. The elitist part of the community is what puts me off Souls like games. Yeah, I, I really love the games, but I don't engage with a lot of the community. There's a couple like speedrunners that I like that are not toxic. Um... But that's really all I really engage with it. I made it through, what, 95% of the base game before I finally hit a boss that I couldn't get without major respecting earlier in the game. So I just threw on cheats instead. Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, that's fine, too. I think, um, the one I was complaining to Sam about are the people that are like, well, I beat it without summons and blah, blah, summons or cheats. It's like, Bro, most of the game you can't even summon. Like, I was trying to find a place to do my Mimic tier just to, like, run around and explore. A lot of times you can't even do that. So it's like, even the people who do do that, you can't do that in a lot of spots. <laughs> I plan to get back to him giving an honest effort. I think you can do it, Osara. He definitely wasn't easy, but he didn't take me as long as, like, some of the others, I guess. I remember the second phase especially being annoying. I think you can do it. Well, I know you can do it. It'll be... <laughs> you feel like... Hopping back in. I know you can do it, though. Get the, sh the shackle helps. Yeah. You uh, flip through your inventory and see if you've got that. That definitely helps. I just want to tell you about them if you don't want to. Yeah, they're way to strip mo- Oh, for the- sorry. Those- I'm combining thoughts here. But this is my only slight disappointment so far. A few bosses in, I haven't found anything that improves my pre-DLC. That's kind of- that's where I was at, Sly. Where, like, I was getting really annoyed because, like, I couldn't find a weapon that I liked that I wanted to switch to. And I think I've finally now done it. I found some, uh... Basically, I was using a spell sword, and I got the new spell sword, and I probably should have redone my stuff like before we dove in yesterday um but i'm gonna give that a go because it's essentially like an updated of what i have <laughs> but yeah i haven't found something where i'm like yes i want to build around that using the same build as well but flip around the weapons yeah so we're, we're gonna i'm gonna go a little bit more into the one i've got now but yeah i was having a hard time being like yes i want that i want to play that but we'll give us a shot and see how it goes. On our first welcome in, how are you today? The uh, the build I did go into is kind of the same one as what Exalted saying, where I can hop between a couple things, so we'll give it a shot. I guess that's all I'll say before. I don't want to spoil anything, but... We magic sword, big magic sword, dual magic swords, yeah. I have beam sword, twin swords... And then I did up or uh, upgrade one of the new weapons. So I tried the backward grip swords. They're pretty neat, but I don't think they're gonna be as strong as the other stuff. Let's even finish off the last ten Dark Oath Marauders. Let's go. 
Well, I'll be here till at least noon. <laughs> if you want to paint along. After that, though, I may abandon Jack for Elden Ring. Yes. We may do article and peace out today. It's, yeah, that's all, that's all I want to think about. Get around to it. I think building Kit Bastion is my favorite part so far. Just slowly building a great pile of shame. You're among friends here. Yep, this speaks to my soul. Yep. You're among friends here. Well, if you have any questions, please let us know. Um, here on stream, we work on a lot of 40k. Uh, I have my personal armies, and then I also do commission work. So these are actually a commission I'm working on. So if there's any colors you see I'm working on, anything when you're building you have questions on, let us know. We are happy to help. Otherwise, we just weed it out. <laughs> we'll talk video games, Warhammer. Animes. Scott's catching up on Kaiju number eight, so I think I'm going to join him when... Cause I think he's got a couple more episodes, and that's where I kind of just stopped watching. Um, just because we got busy. We'll probably watch that. We're still watching Freerin. I think we're on episode, like, 17-ish. Been a couple days since I watched one. Yeah, but my boy, he's so sweet. I love him. I love him. Better go just be the Age of Sigmar 4. Ah, pre-orders maybe not even worth waiting for, Sly. I like your thinking. <laughs> you write, though. You write. It'll be a quick article at the very least. It'll be a quick one. Sly, you're my hero. <laughs> you're my hero. <laughs> Oh, they look so good when they're just matte prime. Then I put paint on them and they... <laughs> I put black prime on. They're like, wow, look at my cool tactical guys. I try painting towards... Oh, no, they're monsters. <laughs> they're gonna be great. Don't worry about it. Jazzy, hello. How are you? 45 months. I booped the doobly doo. You sure did. And the soundings. How has it been 45 months? 45 months of booping the doobly doo. <laughs> How are you? What you up to this weekend? Oh yeah, Slam. Thank you for thank you for the one. Thank you for helping me stream today. <laughs> if anyone would like to see what we've been working on, if you want to see some other Imperial fists, uh, my Titanicus. I put some Kingdom Death up the other day. There are my socials. We also have our YouTube, which has our vods. It has some tutorials. And also has some community projects if you want to see what everyone else has been working on. And I think it's tomorrow our Dead Space VOD goes up. I had so much fun playing Dead Space on Wednesday. And I'm excited to play more this Wednesday. So if you guys enjoy Dead Space, we'll be doing another, uh, another stream of that Wednesday. But uh, I think the VOD goes up tomorrow for it. You want to watch some Dead Space. Uh, we did finish up the first Ace Attorney game. That is there. I gave it its own playlist if you want to binge through that and catch up. We'll be returning for the like DLC episode um, at some point. But it's on there. Mageson, hello. How are you today? I was explaining Death Watch to a friend the other day. And it's like, oh, so they're like the good guys. I explained how Death Watch are responsible for the single largest act of friendly fire genocide in Imperium history. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of the fun part. There, there aren't really uh, good guys. There's, uh, I don't know. You could make arguments for a couple of them as, I guess, more goodest guys of the batch. But yeah, that's our secret. We're all genocidal. Yeah, it's a, it's a rough universe for sure for 40k. It's, it's a rough one. <laughs> Just woke up, stayed up way too late last night. Fair. I attempted to get to bed at a normal time, but I was running through Elden Ring builds in my head. And with all the research I did, I ended up having a hard time falling asleep. There's <laughs> actions to try and justify the crimes, and those that don't bother, yeah. <laughs> and then you've got, you know, just the Nids. They just want to eat. I, f I still, I'll still argue the Nids are the friendliest. They're the, they're the good guys. They just want to know. Orcs just like a good scrap. I feel like, yeah, orcs, orcs and nids are kind of, kind of your good guys. That are normally portrayed as bad guys, but they're it. 
Uh, are you Madison? Were you up too late too? Everyone, do we need to take a nap today? Okay, here we go. I'll end stream so you can all take a nap. How about that? That's I am good streamer taking care of my community, not game addicted streamer. <laughs> Kids are just hungry. Everyone's been hangry before. You know? Everyone's been hangry. Most relatable faction. I'm so considerate. Yeah, see? I'm just looking out for you, chat. What would you do without me? Wouldn't nap, that's for sure. What would you do without me? Let's see, the rest of this week on stream, I have no idea what we're going to work on, because I don't have anything else prepped. <laughs> That's how professional I am. Yeah. No idea. It'll be a surprise for all of us. Part of me wants to work on my other Bushido Warband, because we started the Shiho clan, and I haven't started it, or I haven't finished it yet. Part of me wants to Bushido it up, while we get the next batch of uh, commission stuff together here. They are, uh, they're all built, but I need to keep working on airbrushing. Pro streamer, that's right. Airbra, hello, how are you today? We're working on some Imperial Fists. Let me actually zoom out a little bit. Oh, there they are. Sorry for me to not see the nits as evil. My buddy plays them, he definitely derives joy from melting groups of my hand. That's fair. I have the nids, so from my side, they're pretty good. They're, uh, they're just hungry, hungry bugs. Vegito's always a good time. Fireforge, welcome in. How are you? We did play, I played my first game of Vegito the other day. So we set up here at the house. And I took my Inari's Judgment, which are the fox people. And I got, I'll be honest, it's very different coming from Warhammer. I got a little frustrated with how the dice stuff works, but once I got my keywords down, it was pretty neat. I, I enjoyed it. It's just, it's very different. Very, very different. But I'm looking forward to playing some more. And I want to see how different the Shiho are. So we do need to get them painted. We may do that this week. It's that or I kind of want to break out some of the New Kingdom Death stuff. Because we've got the Black Knight that I haven't opened yet. And, like, I'm really tempted to maybe just build him on stream. I don't know. I think we picked some fun stuff. What are you up to this weekend, Fireforge? We got going on. If you, too, chat, would like to check out some Bajito. Look at this. You can check out our friend Fireforge over at Fireforge Minis. Uh, we do have a discount code if you'd like to use that. It's 10% uh, off Bushido. You can take a look. Uh, you can also, I think their store is easier to browse than the actual website. <laughs> So if you want to take a look through Bushido, maybe uh, shipping's a little different for you, for our Europe friends. You can take a look, see what they got. Not that I haven't paying attention. Is the summer goth done? I'm calling her done. I, uh, I know that I could do more, but I think I'm kind of done. So, here's where she's at. The last... This little bit that we couldn't figure out, it's the waves. It's water on the shore. So I went ahead and finished that the other day. But there she is all together. Like I said, we could do more on her little parasol and stuff, but I'm going to call her good. I'm going to get photos for her either today or tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. <laughs> get her posted so we can try and make the newsletter. Oh, thank you, Air Bride. Yeah, I, I had a lot of fun with her, but I'm ready to kind of move on to something else. So there she is. She's also my June challenge, so she's all done. I'll get her posted. But thank you. I appreciate it. She was a lot of fun. I like those painter scale minis are so much fun. Mikey, welcome in. How are you? Salamanders are also good guys, as long as you're human. Yeah, I feel like that's the other one people make arguments for. I feel like I would I'd group the salamanders in there. They're pretty neat. Backing orders mostly. I mean, we love to see that. We, we love to hear that. More yellow boys, that's right. So we uh, we got the Terminators together. Uh, we've got these boys. We've also got some heavy intercessors and some inceptors are what we've got still with this army. 
So we're going to keep cruising today. What are you up to? How's your weekend? Everyone coming in, how is the weekend? What have we been up to? And they're mostly good. They still have their dark evil side. Yeah. I think uh, within the world of 40k, I feel like Salamanders would be my... If you need a good guy, they'd probably be my vote. <laughs> if you, like, take out the nids and orcs. I feel like Salamanders have it. What is going on with this brush? Come on. Hey, Ghost Guns, welcome in. How are you today? You've got work today, Mikey. Gotcha. Most of my 8,000 sons, they're evil. <laughs> they are indeed. They are indeed. They've been fun to paint, though. We've got uh, Aramon is also up for the next time I sit down with the airbrush. Aramon together. He's got all those layers of fabric, and I'll make sure I take some time to focus on him. Ooh, Armand, I'm excited. Magnus, I think I'm going to try and get some of him together. And then we got to get the wings. Wings will kind of be in that same boat as Armand's cloth. Want some focus time on it. We're getting there. It's kind of fun hopping between the Imperial Fists and the Thousand Suns. Just when we need a, a break from one thing, we hop over to the other. And we'll just keep hopping back and forth and they'll both get done. Especially with, like, the batch painting. It's nice to... Batch painting unit, hop over to the other thing. Batch painting thing, hop over to the other thing. Works out for me. Alright, yeah, a little bit here. So the short on the 30k parade, Darth, he looks sunny. Thank you. People have liked that one. It's always fun to fun to see reactions on it. Yeah, I've had a lot of good comments and things on like YouTube and stuff for him. You want another fist commission? Lots of tiny vehicles. That's all yours, friend. I have another fist commission after this. <laughs> I'm really happy he's gonna make Terminator Sorcerer. Yeah, I think he's a he's a cool model to use for it. I just, bringing the 30k stuff up to 40k is always cool. And they just got so much extra, extra stuff. Like, all of the Praetors look amazing. I am still considering picking up the Space Wolf one just to throw in my army as something. I'm not even playing Space Wolves right now, but he's so cool. The, the Emperor's Children one, I almost bought. They're just they're a little pricey, so I waited. Praetors are all cool. I'm getting things done. I think I worked out I need to get about 12 models done. I have a 3k point Death Guard army ready for a mini tournament in August. That's amazing. Well done, Erebri. You've been cruising through them. That's super exciting. Good job. 3k points is a, it's a lot of painting. I don't know how much you like painting yellow. I will have plenty of yellow. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't realize, yes, the hotel block for Adept can go live in three days. I couldn't remember if that was the actual blocks or if that was, like, the information for them. It is, it's the actual, like, having to lock stuff down, isn't it? Since we don't know what hotels it'll be. I'm assuming just anything right around the hotel will be it, but I don't know. Actual blocks. <laughs> like Tetris, yes. Everyone get ready for Tetris on Wednesday. Okay. It would be cool if we could all get, like, if anyone is planning to play games together, I think getting a hotel, like, the same hotel would be neat. But I don't, I don't know how that works. <laughs> Just so you don't have to lug, like, your game bags up to the, the actual convention hotel. That's kind of what we had worked out last year, is like, oh, well, if we all just stay in this hotel, it's a lot easier to play games. But then they moved. <laughs> but then they moved. I'm picking, I'm sorry, tempted to pick up a Salamander Contemptor Dread to throw into my Death Watch. Hell yeah. I think that's the fun part of Death Watch is you can add things like that too. You can pick out the, uh, you basically get your pick of all the cool stuff, right? Which, which cool thing from which faction do you want to add? Add it in. 
on the website is we'll let you know about which hotels. Like, just tell us. Yeah. That is weird. Like, even just a list. Just like, okay, these are going to be the four hotels. Just so you can, like, scope them out. See which one you want. Tell your friends which one to try and go for. It's really weird that they haven't told us. Just the list. They did list them. Where is that? Those are the lists are on page three. I'm sorry, on their page. Three are attached to the convention center. The others are not. Okay. I think we missed that somehow then. If we could throw that in the Discord. Oh, I saw they mentioned that one. Oh, that they have the... Yeah. With the special pricing is what I mean. The the hotel blocks. Here's Lion, welcome in. How are you today? I'm going to go to the Spring Hill Suites. A little more expensive, but includes breakfast. That's important. Will says, I'm going to get that Horse Heresy White Scar guy uh, con, but after a price increase, I'm not paying $60 for a single resin character. Yes. Well, that's why I didn't buy the Emperor's Children. Great tour. As I was like, you want how much money for one dude? Absolutely not. No, no. Nope. I, uh, I completely understand. Well, I did the same. But you're right. Every play tour slaps. They did such a good job with all of them. That looks so good. But yeah, they're just way too expensive. In my opinion, they're far too expensive. Click on the hotels at the top of the page. Put that info. You need a manager? That info isn't on any of their socials? Yeah, there. You can check my socials while you check their socials. <laughs> Okay, well, if those are, I guess, yeah, does it say that those are the special pricing? That's, that's the biggest thing, I guess, that those will be included in the block. Drury Hotel has breakfast included. It's a 10 minute wait away, but I might switch it up. Breakfast. Breakfast is important. I think probably more important for me as well this time since I gotta have my protein. I gotta have some eggs or something. Last time I did the protein shakes with the espresso though and that worked pretty well. Maybe I'm okay. And the only single four-year-old minis I've bought are ones I need. Would love more of them but I can't justify it. Yeah. One dude made a four-year-old resin. Yeah, that's the... <laughs> That's the other part of it, isn't it, Wasted Mind? Where it's like, yeah, I'm paying 60 bucks for a single dude covered in mold early seat. <laughs> I will say, I haven't had as much trouble with the characters and the infantry. So, like, Thranduil was fine. Um, the or the, yeah, the smaller stuff from Forge World, I haven't had a big issue with. But man, those vehicles. They just cake on that mold release. It's so rough. Someone kindly chunk the link in Discord. Yeah, if we could throw that in, just so we can... Mostly for organizing, honestly. <laughs> I know that we're talking about it here, but if anyone else wanted to see where people are thinking as far as, like, getting games and stuff, we could throw it in the Discord, please. <laughs> Rates are negligible between hotels, like $15 a night of each other. Okay, well, that's good to know. You actually get to just pick the one you want. <laughs> That's good. Hey, Justin guy. And Warhammer, are there any minis where one mini counts as multiple units? Uh, not in game. People will proxy things, though. So if there's a, let's take this Praetor, for example. This is a Praetor for Horus Heresy. But for, why well, zoom too far up? <laughs> this is a Praetor for Horus Heresy, but we're stealing him for 40k and making him a sorcerer. So he's not technically that, but you can use him as that, if that makes sense. Welcome on in. How are you? They're not $15 a night. They're within $15 price-wise. Yeah. Dreadnoughts and uh, Kratos. Mm -hmm. those, uh, those hurt. Portrait still makes me sad. Yeah, that's the thing. You go through all the mold release. You work with all that resin, you bend it all back where it needs to be, and then they throw it in Legends. Oh, <laughs> uh, it only hurts a little bit. It only hurts a little bit. <laughs> How's your mind for 30k? Buying Fortune Vehicle seems crazy at this point. More stuff to Legends, yep. I says, just for my wife. She and my son are at the barrier in the center for Taylor Swift tonight. Enjoy. 
that's exciting. I've heard the tour is good. I'm not a, I'm not a Swifty, but I've heard it's good. Hope they have fun. No straight link to the hotels, which sucks. You go to the main page, click locations, and click hotels. That'll be fun on Wednesday. Uh-oh. That'll, that'll be fun. <laughs> Bill and Beauty, thank you. Was, was a lot of fun. I'm excited to see it on the fancy bases, too. Which I'm going to be starting. Um, I need to order your bases. I was going to start working on some of the big stuff while those come in. And then I've started the bases for the Imperial Fists. So they are here and at the moment. What does that offer are all close. So it's all Gucci. Okay. Yeah. If we can get the same one. That would be pretty sweet. We'll get it figured out. Reconnect and design between them. Parking's ridiculous, too. Might go Hilton. Spring Hill is $40 a night for parking. Well, are we even parking? Are we flying? <laughs> yeah, I thought we were flying. <laughs> we, got, we got some time to think about it, yeah. But consider that with your, your stuff. Hey, Voodoo, welcome in. So, no, we've got Imperial Fist today. Welcome on in. How are you? We've got Assault Intercessors today for the Imperial Fist. Sorry, blanked out on the unit name. <laughs> Trying to get... So it's a little bit of batch painting today. We've got five here that we're getting together. Here is the... Uh, here's our grenade boy. We've got our sergeant. And then the rest of them have the... The heavy bolt rifle, I'm sorry, heavy bolt pistol, which just looks like a bolt rifle, if I'm honest. But that's what their uh, their loadout is here. Rusty only chapters, all good, Voodoo. What you up to this weekend? There are a lot of them. Because <laughs> then you get into successor chapters, and there's just, there's so many flavors of Space Marine, you know? So many flavors. Parking rate's not set yet. When you add the cost of various places, the difference is 10 to 20, like it's got some. Okay. Like, it may be good to drive just so we have the car, but also we could rent a car. I don't know. Case anyone? I feel like a lot of the stuff we'd explore is pretty close, I think is the nice part. Seem very, very walkable. I'm not sure why those aren't negotiated yet. Blocks go live. Yeah, I wish all the information was just there. That's weird that it's not. <laughs> why make this difficult? Has he been playing Spacewalk Tactics? Oh, on PC. Ugh. <laughs> Spacewalk, uh, Spacewalk, very difficult. Yeah. Yeah. I know we're we're ugging. Are we still enjoying it? Though? Like, is it a a good challenge? A good ug? How did I not get your shoulders? Okay, I was distracted. Let me get your shoulders in the thing. As someone who's been playing Elden Ring for the last three days, sometimes there's a good ug. It's definitely difficult though. I've only played a little bit. Okay, probably go follow whatever you do. Okay. We will we'll take a look. I know we talked a little bit last night too, so we'll get it we'll get it figured out. I mentioned successor chapters. That remind me of Stormcast first came out in Age of Sigmar. There are other chambers. People were trolling Age of Sigmar players calling them successor chambers. It's pretty much yeah. <laughs> I mean, people still call the Stormcast the, like, fantasy space marines, so. I mean, kind of fit. I'm gonna trick Exalted and play him to stay at the PBR hotel. I 
I like to say when the Terminators can't hit the hybrids. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah, the Sigmarines. Who's going to be painting Stormcast with the new box here? We are coming up on, on Skaven Tide release. Mine are going to be headed to Panda. We split the box. So I'll be painting rats here on stream once they come in. Try and decide, would you guys want to build the rats together? Or you want me to try and build ahead of time and we just paint? I never know what you guys want to see. I feel like building doesn't normally do as well here on the old Twitch, but... I will, naturally. Marines are going to a panda, that's right. Pandas love 40k, or uh, Sigmar. <laughs> Yeah, the, sorry, the storm, the big marines are going to a panda. Yeah. So I can have the ready. Only build on stream if it's difficult and painful. Thank you, Bill. Luckily, yeah, they're, they're all easy build, I have a feeling. So. There's that. I think what I'd like to bring on stream is the one on the big rat. Either that or the new Grey Seer, I feel like, would be what I'd want to, to bring on. Is there anything you guys would want to see from the Skaven, or is it we on the same page? Right, like the Stompa. The Stompa apparently is hell to build. I did build a Stompa on stream. Can confirm. Is hell to build. <laughs> Can confirm. The instructions are awful. Getting him to like the like Mr. Potato Head stage is awful. It's all awful. Can confirm. Barbus Cabal, also awesome. Uh, the Bliss Barb Archers, Bruce Lanesh, also awful. Take your pick. Chat, what's the worst thing you've built? What else should go on this list that we're putting? What is. What else goes on the list of pain? What have you built that you will never build again? What's on the awful list? There'll be more rat new rats over and above. What's in Skaven Tide? Yeah, there will be. Yeah, yeah. My wallet's not ready, but we will do it. Resin Thantar. Anything death watch. You're in trouble. You're in trouble. <laughs> Infinity, rocking the, uh, the metal. Hello, Greenlee. How are you? Yeah, I'm trying to think. Uh, some of the Malifaux with the really fiddly pieces. That one box, and I feel bad because it was a gift. The box we tried to kind of convert to my sugar skull scheme. Where it had like the coffin and a hand poking out of it. That one had a ton of fiddly pieces and it still makes me angry. That one, that one goes in the list. Titan, welcome in. How are you today? We've got your assault intercessor boys today. What you up to? I have, uh,. I've taken myself off Elden Ring for a couple hours so that we can paint them. <laughs> it's a miracle. I'll do, do a little work today and then I go back. If any models are atrocious, yeah. Metal catapults are terrible to build. At least they were back when I had I had not discovered the super glue accelerator. Yeah. Yeah, I guess the other is going back to the four drilled. Some of those four drilled vehicles are. Between the warping, between mold slip, the uh, release agent, all of that's awful. Okay, put you back. She fell off your base. <laughs> Ooh, metal treeman from Fantasy Battle. I painted and then assembled one of the old, old metal rock dragons for a friend when I was staying with her. Got so fed up, I actually wanted to give up on it. This is a massive pain in the butt. How about the Vanguard set? I didn't realize all the left shoulder pads came molded into part of the arm. I had to carve them. Oh, okay. With the kit bashing. I see. But the Death Watch pauldrons. It was equal parts annoying, anxiety using That makes sense. Yeah. The old metal bone giant for Tomb Kings. Let's see. Titans got work in the morning. D&D &D later. Let's go. Barely got into the DLC myself. 
Enjoy D&D. Hope work goes well today. All right, we got that. What do we want to work on next? Five. I don't want to. I don't want to. And a panel line. I don't want to, though. Let it be known. I don't want to. Oh. Avian, hello. How are you today? Working on some Imperial Fist. Here's our, our sergeant boy. We have to pan a line so we can add highlight. We do it. We do the thing. Minimal complaining. <laughs> oh, my character's in New Game Plus. I hadn't killed Moga or Don yet, so I had to go stomp him. Makes sense. Makes sense. I was telling chat that, I guess with Steam achievements, like a week before the expansion came out, even the like official account was like, uh, only a third of you have beat the boss. So you need to beat you. Uh, <laughs> need to get to it. So I don't, I don't know what it's at now. It was really, it was funny seeing the split because I, I kept seeing posts of like, oh, people are trying to help people get through Moog, so they're doing like, where you can summon people. People are hopping in to help, which was really cool. And then Scott apparently saw the opposite. People were griefing at Moog. <laughs> And if that doesn't sum up the Souls community, just in a nutshell, I don't know what does. <laughs> Let's see, building ox sentinels. Built one egg working on the other one. Enjoy. Yeah, if one story can sum up the, uh, the Souls community, I think that's it. It has been very annoying getting uh, invaded while we're just trying to run around and find shit. I do wish that was optional. <laughs> Just waste everyone's time. I get it. I like I've I've played and beaten Dark Souls one and two. I understand it, but I wish it was optional. You've not earned the DLC. Give filter. That's right. It took me thirty minutes to kill Mo because I didn't have the oh the side gave stuff the blood thing. Yeah, that definitely helps. If anyone's working on it today, you got this. You can do it, I believe. Harper Moog. Oh, we're up to almost 40%. There we go. There's more people getting in. Love that. I think it was like right at 30% when it started. That's a lot of people. <laughs> like 10% across Steam is uh That's a lot of people getting through. It's awesome. Oh, there's also the new emote. <laughs> if you guys watch five minutes of an Elden Ring stream, you get a goofy little guy. One of the new little worms. I don't remember what the actual command is for the emote. That little guy, what is it? Let me get the, the name for it. Spirit Eel, there he is. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> he is pogging the heck out. <laughs> and the channel badge, yep, there is the, that as well. So if you guys want to get that little guy, go watch an Elden Ring stream for five minutes. <laughs> yeah, he is cute. He is cute. <laughs> Raging Wolf, there it is. At your representation, yeah, that, that was me last night for sure, hopping off. <laughs> When I remember that, like, life exists beyond, beyond the computer. That's, that's us returning to work on Monday. No. <laughs> no. Gotta run. Sounds good, Bill. We'll see you later. Have a good rest of your day. <laughs> Avian just jump scared me with my own emo. <laughs> Avian, thank you for the fits. <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, we went ahead and uploaded. Ow. <laughs> it seems Avian found it. Uh, I think you remember I existed. Yep. Yep. And then I returned today. <laughs> uh, 
We do we do the check in and then I go back. You become a dedicated sandwich deliverer. Yes, that's right. Someone has to save uh, the land of shadow. And uh, thank you, thank you for helping the cause. You know, thank you for helping the cause. Uh, might just be skipping ahead here. Do you need the black knee? So I was trying to because I think you said their left, and I wanted to I wanted to verify that it was left or their left before I did it. Is why I was waiting. So I decided to to wait for now, but I do remember that from your note. Yep. I, uh, I read through that again before stream. I was going to leave it here until uh, so we get them together. Let me check the codex. Okay. All good. But yes, we will absolutely do that. I just wanted to verify that it was... We have left or stage left. <laughs> you will not be getting tipped. I don't know if I can save dupe. I have two endings still to uh, achieve for achievements. That's what I, it was a while back. That's what I saw people were doing to get like 100% on the game. Elden Lord and Savior of the Land of Shadow featuring Scott the Sandwich Man. <laughs> it did come in clutch though. I didn't realize how. I keep forgetting to eat. I haven't eaten lunch in the last couple of days. <laughs> like, I've had some snacks, but yeah, I've, I've not been eating as much. So the, the sandwich came in pretty clutch. So I wolfed it down in between things. I don't have Elden Lord. I went Age of Stars. I goofed up my Age of Stars, and I'm angry about it. I didn't realize I had to summon her before I walked up to the last thing. And I goofed it up, and I'm mad about it. Let me just restart my save, and I <laughs> guess I can copy the save and put it somewhere else, then replace it when I want the other two. I think you do have to do something like that. Yeah, I would. I would look up some guides on it just in case, because you've put a lot of time into it. But from what I had seen, that's what people were doing. Yeah, because then you can just bring it back and then get your other ending. Scott is doing, sorry, Scott's doing a, like, 100% guided run, so. Is important. <laughs> Not waste all the time that he's been putting into it. Has there been any other games people are playing? We're not Elden Ring in chat, what are we playing? Will mentioned going through uh, Halo. I think Avian has mentioned it as well here in chat. Playing through the campaigns. Part of me wants to start Gears of War. I feel like with the new one coming out, that's just a franchise I never, I never played. I kind of want to try it. <laughs> I just saw the curse that you put in chat. Uh. So good. It scared me wasted my time. <laughs> it was so big and out of nowhere. And Tom? I think I want to try it. Those are probably just on the Xbox store though, aren't they? Oh, are they on Steam? Excellent. <laughs> thank you so much for the bit, Sadie, and I do appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. I do want to go over our new sub goal. So if you guys are enjoying the video game Dead Space streams, we're going to finish Dead Space on stream, but we've changed Wednesdays. So if we want to have more Wednesday streams, that is my sub goal below me. Otherwise, I'm going to take Wednesdays for YouTube day because I feel like I've lost a lot of YouTube and editing social media time by having the Wednesday streams, unfortunately. It seems like three streams a week is kind of my sweet spot before I it starts to go off the rails. <laughs> so if we hit the sub goal, absolutely, we'll do a we'll do a stream of something. Otherwise, I'm going to take that for YouTube time. So that is going forward what we're going to do. But we'll, uh, we will finish that space before we completely swap over. So if you guys unlock a, a Wednesday, it'll be that week after dead space. Big boss, welcome in. How are you? 
Definitely curse. Remind me of the librarian from Avatar. <laughs> welcome, welcome. If anyone doesn't know what that emote is, that is a uh, an owl from Kingdom Death that I painted and terrorized chat with. And continue to terrorize chat with. My baby boy made the newsletter, though, so. So I win, chat loses. <laughs> Doing well, try not to melt. It's definitely, we've definitely reached like hibernation stage here in Texas as well. We just don't, unless it's absolutely necessary, I'm not going outside for the next couple months. I did go outside yesterday to help with my mom's dog and I got absolutely swarmed by mosquitoes. I must have gotten bit 20 to 30 times. It is all over my legs. <laughs> they actually, it's faded today. They actually got my thumb. Which is weird. <laughs> they were they were on it. Never never go outside, chat. Never ever. Need an application to do a true duplicate. Just copying and saving to a different folder allows for backup. Okay. So you you think you'd be able to use that then? I don't understand how that's different. What do you mean by a true duplicate? What's getting lost by doing a, a backup? Now just wants to hold your hand with its hand, 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 hand. <laughs> and his other hand, 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 hand. Now you can terrorize me too. Yeah, now you get to, now you get to get me back, chat. <laughs> I didn't anticipate that when I added it. Now he's a jump scare for me. <laughs> the already was gone. It wasn't working, Erebri, so I killed it for now. I think the program I was using to have it in there um, either changed or updated, and I didn't have enough to go in there and keep messing with it. So now it's the bit. Oh, okay. I'm going to ask, guys, don't sub the bot today. I'm going to ask Twitch for a, a freebie. <laughs> don't sub the bot. Freebie, how are you today? Just want to make sure no one's doing that. <laughs> oh, I'll get Twitch to do that. Welcome in, how are you? Duplicating will show both saves in your load game. Oh, the option. The backups is straight my replacement, but overwrites. Gotcha. Okay. So you'd have to do one ending, do the backup, do another ending. Maybe I should go. Oh, it's 76. We had a thunderstorm last night. There you go. Get out when you can. Otherwise, I'm hiding a couple months here. The boy from the bot. That's right. I'm awake. I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm stopping the bot today. Not too bad. He can. Uh, he can just spam his words today. That's fine. The annoying part is for me to ask Twitch for a sub. They can't be subbed. So I've had to wait for a good time to ask them for it. So I will do that here later. I don't know if he'll be ready for tomorrow, but I'll try. Sneeze? <coughs> ah, sneeze. It's 89 already. Yay, let me see it. Yep, same here. 89. And it is 11 o'clock in the morning. I did yard work on Friday morning. And it was, yeah, getting up into 90 by the time I was retreating from the sun. Because it was taking my shade. And that was like 10 in the morning. It was quite oppressive yesterday. I want to say mid to high 80s with the humidity. Humidity makes it so much worse. Yep. Yep. Alright. Let's do a little bit more panel lighting. And then we'll start the edge highlights. It's... And at least see what they're going to look like. I don't want to do full batch paint today, but we need to do a little bit. I feel like now that we've got this, let's go ahead and just kind of focus our sergeant for a little bit. What does everyone have coming up this week? 
Anything exciting? I think mine is, mine is normal week. Just video gaming and back to commission work. Oh. I think this week I need to start picking out my filler stuff for my sleeve as well. I want to do that. Get a little collection of things as possibility. Want to keep the momentum so it can all kind of heal together. I can all get like, because the anniversary of starting this leave is September. If I can kind of get everything together by about that point, I'll be happy girl. Because there'll be a healing time in between all that. One more week, uh, one more week of work, and I go camping for a week. Wee! Trying to decide if I take hobby stuff. You must, uh, you must have some nice camping stuff if you can take Hoppy with you. Went for a small walk, found people are hyped for Age of Sigmar. They're looking for the rule book. Had to explain the influencers go there first to hype people up. Yeah. The enrichment program starts at school. Lego and game, let's go. Don Trill, I guess. Not sure if I'm doing Reaper or Dragoon. Interesting. I would have thought for sure Dragoon. Why are we, uh, we are we enjoying Reaper then that much? Uh, my friends get into mini painting. I'm trying very hard not to overwhelm her. I don't think I'm doing a good job. That may be okay, though. Like, I think there's something, like, when someone's really excited for something, I think it's adorable. Unless you mean just the sheer amount of stuff, which, that is hard. Because there is a lot to look at. There's a lot to look into. Techniques, minis, paints. There is a lot of stuff, but I think... Um, like if you're excited, that always helps. There's, there's a lot of stuff. Reaper is a better play experience. Dragoon needs a rework. That's fair. I have no clue what I'm doing on Reaper half the time. Dragoon's getting a partial rework with Dontra. I say something controversial about 30k. The heavy sentinel is cool looking in person. I I don't know which one that is, if I'm honest. So there you go. Hot take from Avia. Just excited to show her everything. No, nope, I feel that. I think I think that can be really contagious though, I think is what I was trying to say. Like I know that like when my friends get really excited about something, it makes me more excited for it. So I think it can be a good thing. I know I've definitely checked out things that maybe I, I wouldn't have without them. So. I'll pass that along. <laughs> yeah. It could, it could be fun to explore something together, I think. Especially if it's something maybe you didn't have a lot of knowledge of before. As someone who likes to learn a lot of new stuff, I'm very grateful for my friends for showing me new stuff. And hopefully avoiding some of, like, the pain point. Because there's, I think there's a fair amount of that with mini pain. <laughs> Only Sweeper can AoE when doing her let some low-level dungeons dragoons are more pathetic down-level gotcha. Yeah, maybe you do start with Reaper. You can always level up Dragoon later. As I can tell, it's squad member on the shoulder. Member on the knee appears to be derivative or variable between chapters. Image in the era Indomitus chapter organization, fifth company's left knee, their left, has a four quadrant black on white checker. Squad number on shoulder. I think that's what the other, our other Imperial Fists commission is. I believe that's correct. And what they do. Um, if you want to send me photos of what you got, just in the email so I have it, because... Once it leaves Twitch chat, I don't have it. <laughs> I am I'm happy to do that. You can just throw it in the thread that we've been using. Happy to do that. 
you're going to learn level experience is pain. Yeah. It's just kind of boring. From when I leveled mine up like a while back. It was, it was just kind of boring. Although the numbers sound like they can be on the knee, but don't have to. Yeah, whatever you decide. Throw it in there and we'll do it. They are your toys, wherever you'd like them. <laughs> Even if it's not where they're quote, quote, supposed to be. We can do that. But if we're going for Codex compliant, we can do that too. But I have a pretty glowing lamp. So much work for the glorious glowing and whatnot, yeah. I just have to do some more. I just have to do some more. More glowy things. Wasn't the big guy with all the little ones I'm building? More heresy talk. Enjoy. I have not looked at anything heresy since it's all launched. They have some cool stuff, but yeah, I have not kept up with it. Sorry. Lighting's feeling a little stark. We're gonna go back to the Uriel and do kind of a uh, I'm not gonna go full heavy metal, but we need a little bit of it. Bye, Rad. Hello, how are you today? How goes the weekend? Can I say like little egg sentinels? That's fair. Do it up. Egg sentinel it up. I did the skin too early. Not feeling the painting this weekend. Sorry, Bill. Just need to look at the orc skin one more time. Paint the rest of them. Let's go. Oh yeah, how's everyone doing with the June challenge? I uh, showed off mine a bit earlier. Here is the Summer Goth. We could do more, but I'm going to call her done. I'm, I'm good. I'm ready to move on to something else. So I figured out that this is water. Got that painted. And she's going to get photos probably tomorrow. Get her posted. How's, everyone's all, how's everyone else doing with the challenge? You feeling good? I feel like between summer and maybe, uh, maybe the theme. Maybe not as much here for the month, but that's okay. We'll figure out if we want to. It sounds like we want to do more, but we just do a, a broader theme for next month. So that's my takeaway here. Right, pink starfish? I did kind of purpley pink starfish. Yeah. I just woke up like 30 minutes ago. Guess I needed the rest. Weekend's all right. A lot of boring cycle chores, dishes, laundry. Yeah. Five more weeks till I can get on the board. Let's go. I hate that that, how much of the weekend that becomes. The like, the cycle things like you mentioned. The having to, knowing that you have to make the time for the laundry, the dishes, all of that. Adult days off are the worst. <laughs> Uh, this week is new Sigmar launch. It'll be pre-order on s Saturday. Sorry. How are you, Z Decker? Welcome in. Yep, that'll be Skaven Tide on Saturday. Today we're working on Imperial Fist, trying to get some batch painting done today. Before I disappear back into Elden Ring. Good. You just get interrupted every yes. Yes. But then when you do finally get time to do something, you've got to go back to it. Like, what the heck? What the heck? Weekend chore time is the worst. 
I want to ring my elders about to move water constantly. <laughs> I know. That's why I got mine done like super early yesterday, just in case. Are you also Elden ringing? The other hard part with these Imperial Fists is the other highlights add so much to it, too. So if we're just doing the yellow, it seems a little, a little rough. And then all the other highlights come in. It's like, oh, there it is. There's our model. I've, I've noticed that for this faction specifically. Because I have it with the live menaces, too, where it's like, oh, this looks a little weird. And then you get the other, like, highlights on. It's like, oh, there it is. <laughs> now we've come together. Let's take a little bit. I just want to make the joke. We're going to clear in Vermintide 2 challenge log. And then New vegas it up. I'm glad you get to New Vegas. I'm a little, a little jealous. I gave up. Glad you're enjoying. Yeah, for anyone coming in, we will probably go to the article. And then I will probably take off. Or set Elden Ring. Because it's all my brain is this week, and I'm sorry. That's all you're going to hear about. The Nikki has hyper-focused, and uh, that's it. That's all my brain is. Played Stalker for years. Scratch with her minor news and stuff like that. I actually want to play Stalker now that the uh, sequel's coming out. I've watched people play Stalker, and I think I'd enjoy it. I guess we'll see if I'm fighting it. <laughs> oh. But yeah, I kind of want to play it. Been really nice playing more games here lately. We're just going to brute force through uh, seasonal depression here. <laughs> By playing a bunch of games. Brute force it. Vegas didn't want you to lose money. There we go. I have to ask, how many layers do you do for highlights? Uh, I tend to do a base coat, a shade, then at least a layer, and then depending on what I'm working on, it can be more than that. At the very least, I have three layers of something. So a shade, a base, and a highlight. So for like tabletop that we're doing here, right around the three. If we're doing more things like the goth, um, I think her skin tone is four or five layers. So it depends, but at least three in, uh, in an area. My favorite franchise. The game crashes a lot. Not much can fix it because it's an engine issue, but it's all worth pushing through. Okay. Worth it. I, I think I want to give it a try. I'm playing a new one. Send it. Okay. Awesome, Titan. Thank you. I'll leave them for right now, but then I will come back. Head it out here, bro. Have a good one. We'll see you later. Have a good rest of your day. Excuse me. All right. Also, the starting gun is horrendously bad. Doesn't work. <laughs> Good motivation to find something else. That's what you're telling me. I think I want to give a shot. Oh, hi. The, uh, the scary part is the Steam summer sale is also coming up. Anything we're excited, hoping for, chat? If it's cheap on that, I might, I might grab it. You have the grenade guy handy. I do. Grenade. Gotta love the summer sales. They're fun. It's fun to see what people pick up. I definitely still have stuff in my library I need to play. But I love the summer sales because then I um, pick up some of the like smaller stuff that maybe I haven't had a chance to mess with. Just go ham on it for a bit. 
You anything you're hoping for, C. Decker? What's the sale going on right now? <laughs> was that chain sword hard to attach? I'm trying to remember if that was actually part of the option. Some of them were a little tricky. Um, I will say on the heavy intercessors, I had a harder time finding spots to put things because the cables and stuff overlap back there. But I tried to attach as much stuff as I could. But the heavy intercessors are tough just because they've got all those cables. I threw on as much as we could. I know you like the, the extra stuff. And what is about Imperial Fist players and all their stuff? <laughs> you and Alive and both Alive and Madness both like to have all the extra packs. I call them affectionately snack packs for uh for Alive and Madness. They're little snack pouches. We've agreed that they're taking snacks and Red Bulls into battle. So you also like the snack packs. I can't get into Blizzard anymore. Yeah, no. They don't get any of my money. Ever again. No, thank you. I'm sure Drano good. Do you manage to get knives on those ones? Yeah, I tried to get what was in the, uh, as much from the box as I could onto them. As long as I had, like, a good contact point. I threw it on there. <laughs> okay, we should wrap these next. You should eat something. You should, Jazzy. What are, what's the options? Got some yummy food choices. I also need to make sure I eat before I hop back into games. Or I make, make sandwich. Scott, give me sandwiches. Just kidding. We infiltrated yesterday and said the one with four pouches was bringing snacks. It's it's perfect for it. What else would they be for? <laughs> Varo, thank you so much for that sub. For 56 months of support. How are you today? Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Return come from call. Welcome back. Making free progress. We are. I, uh, I'm happy with it. For having to paint today, I'm happy with what we're doing. Ooh. Yeah, like Imperial Fists are kind of right behind the salamanders with. This is, this is just my paint scheme. Those are my babies. We've painted so many, they're just my babies now. Got leftover burgers, pastrami sandwich. Maybe I make an omelet or an eggy sandwich. Those all sound like good options. Yeah, you can't go wrong there, Jesse. Maximizing speed to get things done before a particular cutoff. I don't know what you're talking about. We're speed running Imperial Fists. Yep. <laughs> you headed out, Fierce Lion. Have a good one. We will catch you next time. Bye bye, as for now. Hope everyone having a good weekend. That's a. Uh... Here with summer. Taking a break, installing an alternator. Fun, fun. Sounds fun. Yep, yep. I guess, do we, we feel good about how that's going, Varo? Get that all done today. I have no idea what all that entails, but I hope it goes well. Who's thinking of heading to Acon 2025? Chat, who's thinking Adapticon? Sam wants to know. <laughs> Cat strikes again. Gotta attach two of the Vanguard to the I'm sorry, Blade Guard to their bases. Think I'm gonna move my model somewhere else. I don't even got up there this time. <laughs> yeah, you you need that case ASAP. If Kitty Cat is finding new ways to do this, it's time for that case. I have found, like, obviously protecting the models, but even just having everything ready to go, I am more likely to, like, get up to the game store. I think case is absolutely worth it. Hey, Grizz, welcome in. These look really good. Particular yellow hue is quite nice. Thank you. These are our Imperial Fifths. We got some assault intercessors working on today. 
Oh gosh, the highlight seems even brighter on camera. Um, but we've got, here is the full scheme. It really starts to come together when we get the other colors on. So that's kind of the, uh, the thing for the Imperial Fist is once we get the other highlights, then it kind of brings that yellow back down a bit. But we're, we're getting there. So we've got some Terminators. I've got a Hospitaller, which is a successor chapter, also joining these boys. So yeah, all together, they're coming together. Singly, they look a little, <laughs> a little bright at the moment, but they're, they're getting there. How are you? What you up to today? How's the weekend? I'm gonna try and grab a hotel and decide later. My buddy and I decided we're driving next year. Avian's going, if you can get a room, not driving back and forth. Figuring out logistics. The <laughs> highlights are bright, highlights, yeah. They, uh, they do look brighter on camera as well. But once those other highlights are on, though. We even back out a bit. The salamanders kind of do the same. We're, if we, when we do the moot green, it's just like, whoa, that's moot green. It's like, oh, okay. Once we get the other pieces and the basing, then it, it mellows back out a little bit. But I kind of like it for, like, tabletop, because it's, like, a quick highlight to really make them stand out. So Just in the, in the process. We trusting the process is what I'm trying to say. In the moment, it seems very bright. By the end, it'll look great. Maybe we're going to take the train to Milwaukee? I mean, our British friends used to the trains, yeah. <laughs> you get to see our trains. Not huge hammerhead yet, but I've understood why Imperial Fist gets so much flat. Personally, I love the yellow color scheme. At least from a painting perspective, yellow can be a little trickier to work with. Um, I think uh, especially for new painters, they get a little uh, overwhelmed with the yellow. I mean, lore-wise, people give, give crap to all the different legions, so. But I know painting-wise, yellow is a little trickier. Someone explained to my cat, it's not normal for felines to ask for lettuce, but it's so crunchy. So crunchy. We found out Sadie likes bell peppers, and it's been really cute. She likes to crunch on those. And I love bell peppers, so we just snack on them together. Every time I'm, like, cutting vegetables for dinner, she's right below my feet, open for... She likes carrots, broccoli, she loves the bell peppers. She likes bananas and apples. It's been really cute letting her try different stuff. I wonder if I said carrots. She loves carrots. But it's been cute. <laughs> try to feed out oh, my lizard. She goes nuts for the piece of lettuce. <laughs> At least it's nice and healthy, you know? $50 one way versus, oh, a connection flight. For the train. That's a, that's a good shout, Evie, and thanks for mentioning it. Since I have to go to, have to hit Chicago anyway. I guess is that easy to get to from the airport as well. So we are O'Hare to Milwaukee Intermodal Station Direct. I don't know if that's better. Okay, that is better. Thank you, Avian, for the help. Just an hour and a half. Okay. Yeah, it's not bad at all. I say in U.S. time, maybe. <laughs> it's just down the road. <laughs> you know, Brie, our newest adoption from Buddy, who couldn't take her to New Duty Station, continues to be difficult to introduce all. I'm sorry. How long does that, like, normally take? Like, is there a, uh, 
a guideline kind of on introducing kitties together? Does it need to be a week? Is it? I've never had cats, so I don't know how that works. Dogs, dogs are, I think, a little easier. Went on the Amtrak a couple times when I visited the East Coast. Okay, it seemed pretty efficient. You guys have the luxury of a large enough country of trains can actually get up to speed. I think the the longer train rides like that can be nice. I don't super love the ones in the city, at least here in Dallas. They're a little, uh, they're a little dirty. They're a little not great. But those like longer ones like that, the ones that are more like a, a trip themselves can be really nice. I return with coffee and breakfast, eggs that not to come to room temp making, ooh, Japanese egg salad fami for lunch. That sounds amazing, Lisa mine. If you could, you could also send me one in a box, like our snack boxes, that, that would be great. Thank you. <laughs> oh, James, bring the Rolls Royce around. That's right. Thank you for the lurk, Varl. Have fun with your alternator. In case anyone's wondering, we are waiting. We're not going to uh, we're not going to sub the bot. I'm going to ask Twitch for a freebie, so no one no one gets sub to bot. I only say that because it's happened a couple times. <laughs> well, we're going to ask Twitch for that. One of the three big Texas cities will be connected by speed rail. I wish they keep they keep saying no. I wish it would be really nice to just hop on down to Austin on it. Not have to drive the Houston road. <laughs> oh. Scott, are you starving her? Why don't you send Sammy and snack? It just sounds really good. <laughs> it just sounds good. I was gonna make egg salad before I figured out that the gluten was really messing me up. So I gotta, I gotta find a bread I like before I make egg salad. I'd like to do tuna salad sandwiches too. But I can't find a bread that I like that isn't, you know, $8 off or gluten-free. <laughs> Depends on the age. Kittens are easy, but Bree's like three years old. Used to, one, being a solo cat. Allowed to walk through the city like a stray. <laughs> Thanks, Nick. Glad you told me that'd be a third party after you moved. Gotcha. Kitty's just stacking difficulty then. I see. Everyone can't. Uh, just seize property and build train lines. The rails are typically owned by the freight companies. Yeah, they feel like they've been trying ever since I've been here. And it just keeps getting shut down or we have to do, we have to do more studies. And I don't know if that's ever going to happen. I'm going to try making tuna mayo on a gary this week. Time to burn hands on right. I think going to Gary would be pretty easy. I don't think that'd be too bad. Sounds really good. Maybe I should join you instead of, you know, just forget the bread. Throw it in rice. <laughs> Let me know how it goes, Wasted Mind. I am. I am curious how it goes. I follow a lady on TikTok who has a series just called Will It Own a Gary? And she tries like different fillings and things. So I think she's done like a PB and J Own a Gary. I don't remember if she said it was any good or not, but you know, she'll put like random stuff in it. We're playing a nightmare for this one. I'm sorry. Just gotta stack your buffs the best you can, Bat Rat. Stack all your kitty buffs. Let's order the California High Speed Rail. But I do find it funny they're building the Central Valley Station or er, Section Verse. Egg Salad Onigiri has to be a thing. I, I feel like it is. With all of their, like, omelets and stuff they make, I feel like that has to be. If it's not, I'm gonna make it. <laughs> if it's not, it's about to be. 
But yeah, I've just been craving egg salad, but I need to find a bread I can actually eat. <laughs> Tuna salad is best salad. Tuna salad is very good. It's I'm trying to find um, trying to find things I can easily meal prep and not have to cook a whole bunch because that's when I start to get pretty miserable with the old diet <laughs> and the heat now. So cooler foods that I don't have to make every single time sound really really nice right now. I think I just found the TikTok you're talking about from Googling for egg salad on a curry. Perfect. <laughs> you probably did. Will it on a curry? I don't think she pops up as much for me now, but I feel like it's been a little bit since I've seen her video. But her egg salad on a curry looked good, but I wouldn't mash the whites. I dice them up, fold them in. There you go. There's your uh, there's your experiment. I'll have to go also watch. When they showed off more Space Marine 2 customization, my hospitaler blade guard looks po uh, possible. Let's go. Yeah, did anyone watch? There was another video for it. Um, I've not watched it because, like, I'm in. We'll play it. We'll play it on stream, obviously. Makes sense for... One, because I want to play it, too, for content. <laughs> obviously, it's a, it's a good fit for stream. So I've kind of wa stopped watching, like, trailers and things because I'll just... I'll go in and experience it then. But if you wanted to see more of it, chat, there is another video for Space Marine 2. And it's property rights to kill new rail lines. Yeah, big reason those projects cost so much. You have to pay market value for the property. It's the fact that we, the US, don't have the skills, knowledge to build rail lines. I mean, you also have Texas likes gas and oil. You're trying to put trains through it? But people aren't driving as much? That's definitely part of it as well. Hobby talk. I saw this rad alternate treatment for Blood Bowl that was like the big Dark Souls mushroom guys. Maybe red as a 70s psychedelics paint job. There you go. Jimi Hendrix album. That'd be a fun Blood Bowl team. Just lean into that really hard. That'd be fun. Cargo's like, well, I'm gonna let you eat me. I'm gonna ask for no more spoilers. I don't want to know what else it has. I want the Dark Souls experience in my Space Marine game, where I just run up and, oh my god. <laughs> Got the QP. I need to pick up some QP mayo. I don't have any. I did see that our store has it, which is great. But I need to pick it up. Uh, the video cut this off and she said, oh, that was her favorite. Okay. 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 Watch any more free rent. I was telling chat it's been a couple nights, but I think we're on like 17. So once I'm done with my absolute Elden Ring binge, um, I'll get back to it. Yeah, I think, I think we're 17 ish. It's very good. I don't. People were putting it above Full Metal Alchemist. I don't think I would put it above that. But it's very good. It's up there. But I, I don't think it's that good. <laughs> if I had to rank the two, Full Metal Alchemist still top for me. But, but it's very good. But the show gets taken out, that's right. <laughs> Nah, I'm ready to just go in and whatever they want to throw at me, they can throw at me. I'll deal with it. I will see it then. You're entitled to your opinion if it's wrong? No. I don't think I'm wrong. It's very good. But Full Metal still takes it for me. It took them two attempts to make it correctly. Well, that's because the first one didn't... The first one's a Game of Thrones situation where it wasn't finished yet. <laughs> But then they did. And then, yeah, but when they did, exactly.
I feel like that discourse kind of goofed it up for me. I was like, okay, when's that moment? And I was like, hmm. Mm. <laughs> it's very good, though. I'm enjoying it. I will keep watching. Oh, sure. And then Avian, I'm still catching up on Kaiju number eight. Scott has almost gotten to the point where I just stopped because we were busy. So I might just watch with him. <laughs> I think he's got like two more episodes and then he's where I kind of left off just because of remodel and shiz. I haven't gone back just yet. This nectarine had more liquid- wait. <laughs> oh my gosh, the nectarine crazy. Crazy. The only power I have in chat, getting people to make delicious food. <laughs> you have lots of power, waste of mind. But I, I do want to make that food. <laughs> Did you get fa one of the fancy little presses for it? A little onigiri, little plastic mold thing for it? I'm sort of saying, you're at the manga, but it's moving fast in the anime. Yeah. It always has to, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I am. I'm glad I'm reading it because of that, Evian. Get some more time with them. All the characters. Like, this is weird. Like, obviously, I've watched Dragon Ball many, many times. But going back and reading the manga is like a... It's different. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm glad I'm doing it, even though I know the anime so well. And I think I'm going to have the same with Kaiju number 8, where it's just like, oh, you get more time with those characters and... You get those little things that maybe the anime can't show everything. It's nice to have those. Nice to have those. I'm gonna make a mess of it and burn my hands. Even if I mostly won't feel it. Go be voluntary chef hands up cream. I don't know how you're burning your hands, but <laughs> I believe Waste of Mine. You can do it. You can do it. And then you can find new things to shove in down again. We find more flavor combinations. Vegeta, welcome in. How are you today? We're doing well. How's your weekend? And you're working on some Imperial Fists before I get lost in Elden Ring again. Weasel, hello. How are ya? How goes weekend? No reason for that. Thank you, Sly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being my hype man. I appreciate it. <laughs> or for going back to play Elden Ring. I think that's what Claws is for. Elden Ring. Sly's like, why are you still here? Get out of here. <laughs> why are you still painting? Go Elden Ring. The answer is, I don't know, Sly. I don't know. <laughs> I just think we all need some applause every so often. I think you're right. I think the world would be a better place with a bit more applause. Hyping each other up, right? I know creation isn't my thing. I, I do the guy, I just throw stuff in because you have a thing that results in disgusting things that taste okay. <laughs> you never know. Sometimes it works. Throw it in. I'll complain the manga it makes it feel slower. The anime things are moving too fast for the emotions felt with everyone. That's the, yeah, that's why I, what I meant is I, I'm glad I get more time with everyone because I'm enjoying it. And kind of the same with Dragon Ball. You get a little bit more of like the inner dialogue and stuff. It's just, it's a different experience. But even if you know the material, like it's, it is a little different, which is fun. It's fun to see how they adapt it. Back to highlighting again now. Let's go, Sly. We highlight together. 
Uh, going well, had a fun sh Oh, Shadow Run session. Picked a fight with a gang that we mostly won, but they'll retaliate next session. Ron Johnson is somewhat mad at us. I think we managed to smooth all that over. Nice. Well, it sounds like a very productive session, yeah. It's nice when you have those sessions where, like, things have been maybe building up and you get to kind of hammer some of that out. Is my eye. Oh, we're getting close to President Manga. Probably gonna be a single season. We shall see. And not heading back to Lands of Shadow for a bit. Sounds good, Slam. I'm not too far behind you. I think we're going to article and do the same. Yeah, I can't even do the, like, what do we think the article will be, chat? Because <laughs> we all know it's game in time. Who will be picking up Skaven Tide? We'll, we'll flip it a little bit here. Who's getting box? I'll get box. Just realizing I'm stupid. <laughs> I applied, uh, Twitch opened up the ability for partners to apply for front page, and I should have done it. The week I have Skaven type. Oh well. Got the building prime a third Death Leaper. Can't get the primer off the last one. Gonna have to wait for it to cool down. I'm just realizing noob thanks. Thank you. So glad you arrived just for that. I feel so much better about myself, yeah. <laughs> I feel so much better about myself. What you up to? What's in the box? Ooh, on those to get box. I'm gonna pick up a new faction with a spearhead version coming out. Nice. What, uh, what factions are you thinking about? So not the Skaven and Stormcast. Or maybe that, but just the spearhead instead of the, the full box. What factions are you looking at? Sons of Behemoth, that'll be fun. Noobs in build mode, trying to get stuff done. Finish up the storm piece. I saw you had a ton of terrain now. <laughs> in the old Discord. Everyone had models following them home yesterday. I've, uh, I've completely reversed. All of my spending money has been video games lately. So I picked up uh, Elden Ring, obviously. I finally got um, Aegis Rim, 13 Sentinels, Aegis Rim on my Switch. I got that because I wasn't <laughs> full price. Um, yeah, Steam Summer Sale coming up. No minis for me, at least for now. All video games. I have everything for Seraphon and both dwarf armies. Why do something I already have? <laughs> it's nice to mix it up, especially with the, uh, the new format. I think that makes a lot of sense, Big Boss. Well, good. Glad you, uh, glad you got some hobby plans there. Excited for it. I do hope Spearhead's very good, too. Seems like people are enjoying it. From, like, the early review and playtest type stuff. I hope it's good. Rather than have Nikki as my accountability, I should have Scott. Tell, have him tell me which Age of Sigmar model to paint. Oh, for vampires? Scott, Scott's a good accountability. I would say pick a character and some infantry, you know, then go. Or maybe see what the, the spearhead is, Avian. Start there and build out. As a guide. That way you can play as you go. Oh, Squeeze is struggling trying to remember how to play Elden Ring. The other day I, I zoned in, I ran into the first area, and while I was like running around Figuring out all my buttons, I got, like, jumped in a field. <laughs> so I was fighting for my life with buttons I didn't remember. 
The worst part is I had just done all of that for Monster Hunter with Slam like a few nights before. So then I was using all of my Monster Hunter buttons for Elden Ring. <laughs> and now when we go back to Monster Hunter, I'm going to be all messed up again. <laughs> Okay, we gotta get the, uh, I think here at the end of this week, my button memory will be good for both, but my goodness, it's been a, it's been a struggle. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll make sure you have minis. See, I, uh, I never need to worry about having things to paint. Between my backlog and Chad's backlog, client backlog, we good. I'm all set. Yeah, I have hard turn to video games here for a bit until the Skaven come out. I think using the spearhead as a guide is a good idea. I think I have plenty for the soul, soul blight. At this point, I'm trying to paint what I have, especially for games I don't play. Yeah, I think. I've been just doing more of that in general. So I'm good not spending money. I think even the last Kingdom Death sale, I didn't get anything. Because, like, I already have so much Kingdom Death. <laughs> Plus, Frog Dog arrived. I've still got the uh, Black Knight. Still have all the Gambler's Chest stuff we're going through. I can I can take a sale or two off here. Unless there's just something I really, really love. Monster Hunter Elden Ring. Control struggle smooth. I mix those up every time I switch to their yep. <laughs> Luckily, after Elden Ring DLC, it'll it'll just be Monster Hunter. So until I start Dark Souls three, and then I have to do it all over again. So I've I've beaten one and two. I need to go back for three. So I'll at least have a break for the next one. Nikki is guaranteed a steady income just based on our backlogs alone. Nikki, hug Scott for you. I don't know why I'm healing. Hug full. Come here. <laughs> Chad, if you want a hug, let Will know. I think he's also Elden Ring. I'll get him later. <laughs> we'll get him later. When he gets to the first boss that uh, gave us trouble, that's when I'll, I'll save it for that. All right, there's that. We'll add a little bit of the spot highlights with that brighter color. Uh, I think I want to get silver on before I wrap up today and maybe start the shoulders, get the white circle painted really started. And then I will leave them for this week. Probably off stream just because batch painting, but we'll see how Elden Ring goes. How much I get prepped. <laughs> Since I've got my manga and anime, may I also vent today about what? What you got, Avian? As long as, as long as we're not spoiling, we good. <laughs> now we've got poetry in the chat. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Who's out here hugging? Don't mind me. <laughs> chat if you want to hug. If you want some poetry, make it known in the chat. I'm just here edge highlighting. <laughs> Uh, person, the Blake, are back to you. Be with the fourth batch right and the third. Because these lads, I want to play with them. Let's go. Let's go. Is that for the, uh... That's for the base game magnetizing, right? Sounds good. Yeah, if we can get them with the batch, then all set. And I guess if we decide to pin... I'll get it out with the homies, that's right. What is everyone else up to today? What do we got, chat? Let me, uh, let me get this situated here. Pretty 
I can't even take a walk to Whole Foods. When I go to Whole Paycheck, so all the other local grocers are at Whole Food prices without the quality. Groceries are rough. Like, it's not fun talking, like, money stuff. But, like, when I went full-time and, like, I was doing pretty well for full-time self-employed. But, like, lately groceries have made it so hard. It's just so hard now. Everything is so expensive. And, like, for, for our house, I pick up groceries, and it's just... Uh, there's some weeks I rethink it. <laughs> I'm like, I could, I could be in an office and make this a lot easier on myself. But it's, it's mostly groceries. I really don't spend a lot of money outside of my bills and stuff. Groceries are rough. But, yeah, no, I, I get it. I'm surprised theirs also haven't gone up as you say that. I would have expected theirs to also take the take the increase. I think it's probably a good idea. About one or two needs a touch up. Oh, from taking a taking a kitty tumble. Kitty tumble will do that. Costco is the place for me, but I have to drive to it. We are getting a Costco closer to us, and I am considering the same. Ours right now is also a bit more of a drive than I would do for, for groceries, but. Oh, go ahead. I'm just going off script. We're doing eyes instead. I want this blue on here. I'm so much stronger now. I'm gonna lift $120 in groceries with one hand. <laughs> oh, Reaper out here bragging about his five items. <laughs> oh, it hurts, Reaper. It hurts. You can have three cheeky slices. Look at you. Look at you. Stretching that dollar. Yeah, it hurts now. And then we'll do silver. We got a fair amount of silver to do. Craft curls. See, this is a mat lunch with Cass and the bridesmaids. I don't have much to add, but the sadness in their eyes when they look at me tells me I'm going to be cleaning for days. Got all that glitter to find, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're going to be cleaning glitter for forever. Forever. That's why, uh, that's why she was buttering you up this weekend. Yep. <laughs> you can save by buying the non-perishables there. I also get a brick a brick of cheese or slightly more than normal sized cheese at the grocery stores. Yeah. Especially because I'm going like high protein. The uh the Costco for a lot of that also better. Buy in bulk freeze. That type of stuff. Hey gremlins, I am an introvert. How are you? Welcome on in. I am indeed. It's so bad here, it's almost impossible to buy domestic beef cheese. Yeah, there's some things we just straight up don't buy anymore. Not worth it. The glitter's gonna be decades. It'll be there when baby Grimace gets his master's degree. Yep. Yep. Little baby grimace. Well, the only extrovert here. I've got a couple. Yeah. A couple of them have adopted us. We're grateful for it. And <laughs> the gift that keeps on giving, that's right. We're gonna be celebrating that uh that shower for forever.
Just means you get to celebrate like the anniversaries and stuff too. I'm fine. I'm also introvert. You did a test. I don't know a test was required. But for the most part, you know. Was the test going outside? I yeah, I feel like I feel like you kind of know. There's a giant flaming ball in the sky, and it hurts to look at. Yeah, there's also other people out there, which hmm, hmm, not feeling that either. As an introvert, I can do people of my choosing. For a bit. And then I'm good. <laughs> then I'm good. Battery spent. All done. We have a test See? There. That's how you know you're an extrovert. Right there. <laughs> notice, notice the caps. Notice the... Uh... <laughs> what did you do to the owl? <laughs> uh, I'm glad you found it, Well. The best part is Avian used uh used Vith earlier to uh <laughs> actually jump scare me. Avian got me earlier. I was not expecting it. I actually put it in for Dead Space. <laughs> it wasn't discovered. I figured one more uh one more horror for the chat would be would be okay. <laughs> There's no sun in England. True. All rain all the time. All cloud. Until now, when they uh, like to remind us that it is indeed hot. That one! <laughs> Thank you, Avian, for the bits. That's the one. <laughs> Seize. Honestly, I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you. <laughs> Just so you know. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, let's see. I don't believe you. I think it's cold. I'm gonna, I'm gonna reverse it. Actually, that's pretty cold. I can't believe it's sitting there. And it's that cold. <laughs> yeah, no, you. No, you're hot. <laughs> you know what else is hot? My wife. I don't know where that came from. I think I know where it came from. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I know. Out there throwing parties. Picking up stuff. I think I know. <laughs> How did that space go? Sound like mostly good? It was really good. I enjoyed it. I almost feel like I let people down as I was not really scared. <laughs> I was having fun stomping guys out. Um, so sorry if you came in wanting jump scares. I feel like I've let people down. <laughs> I was having too much fun crushing people. My greatest enemy was uh, getting the stasis because it was hard to tell when it was actually like affecting the door. Everything else has been really fun. Enjoying the heck out of it. <laughs> well, is Lude buying his own wife? Well, now that it's coming from inside the house, he doesn't really have a choice, I think. Doesn't have a choice. He can't run from it anymore. Still pretty early into the game. I think I'll be alright. Famous last words. I think I'll be alright. I'm enjoying it. Oh god, you're right! <laughs> Uh, I can't believe it, Will. I can't believe it's happening. The call is going from inside the house. Exactly. That's exactly what it is. Bacon, eggs. <laughs> Are we still deciding on breakfast? <laughs> uh, that's the morning right there. 
Paranoia, thank you so much for that sub for 65 months of support. How are you today? Welcome in. Thank you, thank you. We are, I hate to say it, we're painting for a little bit more here before I go back to Elden Ring. We're working on some Imperial Fist. How's your weekend? She made cookies that look like butts. How does she know what butts looks like? <laughs> Wow, she she went all in, huh? I can't believe she's fooled you for this long. Well done, Cass. Well done. Secret loot butt agent this whole time. Right underneath your nose. It's too late now. Cass's true colors coming out, and they look like butt cookies. <laughs> Morning, Paranoia. How have you been? What you been up to? I'm just, yeah, trying to get some batch painting done this morning before I go back. Throw myself at Elden Ring bosses for the rest of the day. Woo, Elden Ring! Preoccupied with the new. Ooh, how is the Destiny expansion? I keep seeing people talk about it. What do we think? Sounds like they've done a nice job. It's great. Cast don't want none unless your buns look like buns, huh? <laughs> Riot, welcome back. I took the suggestion for a nap too seriously. Fell asleep? Good. See? Riot does it. That's okay, because we're about to go take a nap here and... A moment, so you can head right back, right? <laughs> Glad you got some more rest. Sounds like you needed it. What weapons are using the DLC? I am using, I found, I don't want to like spoil names and things. I found some spell swords that I'm going to try today. And hopefully they are what I'm looking for. I had a hard time finding a weapon I wanted to, to rock. But we're going to try this. If this doesn't work... I'm tempted to just go full full strength again, just because it was fun. Is it the best? No. Is it fun? Yes. Do I look like guts? Yes. These are all winning things in my book. So. It's great. Good. Glad to hear it. The Destiny expansion is fantastic. Good. Glad to hear that for the Destiny friends. I know my brother, his friends used to play a lot. He got pulled back into it. <laughs> if there is a, if there's another destiny, I'll have to see. But I won't hop back to two. Show that shape. It ain't final. Magic is rad. I like spells. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Magic is very strong in Elden Ring too. Fitting into the War of Light and Darkness said some some really cool things for the future. Glad to hear that. Good. I wasn't quite sure what the uh, what the plans were, but I feel like if they keep the seasons, I I probably won't hop back. But for those that enjoy it, very cool. I just I can't do the season things anymore. I don't play a single game enough to like warrant that. I think is a lot of it. I hop around too much. purpose of video games is to have fun, so the most fun option is clearly the optimal option. It is, until... <laughs> until it's not as good as some of the other builds and I get stuck, is the only, the only thing that makes me hesitate. <laughs> if I'm beating my head against the wall too much and it becomes not fun again, that's the, the tricky bit. We want to avoid that. But you're absolutely right. All right, I guess as soon as the article goes up, we will go over that. Um, we know it's going to be Skaven Tide, but I want to go over it in case anyone has questions for like pre-order and timing and things like that. And then we'll... Then I'm going to get some food. I'm going to have an actual lunch today and uh, yeah, do my thing. 
and to PvP and Elden Ring to get a, a bit. Oh, to get to Mug. Crucible Knight continues to wreck people. It's a, it's a nasty one, especially if. Yeah, you're trying to catch up. You haven't played in a while. I think a lot of people. It feels a little bit noob harvesty, where everyone's trying to get used to the controls again. And then the people who have been playing the whole time are just. Out there being poo poo heads. Let me get back to playing. Oh, Hell Divers of People. Only thing left I'm really looking forward to is Space Marine 2. That's fair. It does look like it's going to be good. I, uh, my plan is to play it on stream. Hopefully we can co-op it with some peeps. That's the plan. Try to try to smash the eject button so hard. There's the link. <laughs> All right, chat. Sorry, Titan, we're ending a little early today, but we made some good progress on our batch paint. So we're getting our yellow together. We're getting a few more of the other colors on there. I think for uh, for a quick break to get some progress, we did pretty well. well there's our, oh, we have one more. Left. I didn't tack enough on his base. So that's all we got. Well, let's take a look at the article for this week, which again is going to be Skaven type, but I want to go over all the details in case people need it. So let's go take a look. Meow. I play a bulwark in, in co-op versus Dark Angel and Deathwing colors. Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's open this up. Yeah, I guess chat for Space Marine 2 with the, uh, with the customizing. What are we going to play as? I'll go Space Wolf. I'll go Space Wolf. All right. Sunday preview. Skaven Tide approaches. The wait is almost over. There's been extensive rule coverage, 24 faction focus articles previewing how your favorite armies play, loads of amazing miniatures. Skaven have, re have enacted their realm shattering plan, are swimming across the moral realms. Only the Stormcast Eternal stand between them and victory for the Great Horned Rat. Here is Box. How get Box chat. Aventide is the behemoth debut for the new edition of Warhammer Age of Sigmar. Greatest launch box ever. The pre-order window will be open for two weeks as usual. And although we've made loads, the set is strictly available while stocks last. We expect the pre-order period to be quite busy. We're activating a queuing system. With a limit of one copy of Skaventide per customer, you'll be able to pre-order at the following times in your area. Oh, we have a map and everything. We've Yeah, we're back to it, Slam. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm back to, we made so many, you can get three, two, one, there's none left. <laughs> All right, so there is, uh, there are the times. The massive launch box is packed to the brim with 74 jaw-dropping new miniatures divided between two factions. Stormcast Eternals comprise 24 miniatures. Command staff made of Imperius Knight, I'm sorry, Lord Vigilant on Griff Staker, Stalker. A solemn Lord Terminus with Attendant Memoriam, Lord Veritant with Griff Crow, and a Knight Quester. Rank and file are made up of ten Indominal Liberators alongside three Battle Hardened Reclusians, the Memoriams, and three Soaring Prosecutors. Pitted against them are the previous Skaven. They're led by a scheming Claw Lord on Gnaw Beast and a Grey Seer from the Master Clan. War Warlock Engineer watches over the complement of Scryer weapons. The crowning jewel of the collection is the Chaotic Contraptions, is the Rattling Warp Blaster. Four by three Warbog Jezails. A truly prodigious collection of 40 clan rats make up the bulk of the Vile Horde. Three hulking rat ogres provide the muscle. Yes, yes. Uh, Slim says, I feel like I've hitched my Age of Sigmar wagon to Seraphon and Seed of Sigmar. I mean, good choices. Good choices. It's so many minis on this box. Plus, they didn't even mention the terrain, which might be, oh, that's the next I need to keep reading. That's not everything either. Skaven Tide also comes with everything you need to play the new Spearhead game mode. Within the Stormcast Eternals and Skaven forces, there's enough miniatures to construct their Spearhead forces and rules for all the currently available Spearhead boxes are contained in the 144-page Spearhead Fire and Jade book. On top of that, you get a double-sided game board with the printed objectives, four pieces of terrain you need, three and six inch range rulers which clip together, and all the cards you need. Two twist decks, two battle deck... That... Battle tactic decks. Burn some dice, you can be playing Spearhead on your dining room table on launch day. Mouse Bay, hello, how are ya? Alright, so there's all the goodies. 
That's still not everything, as the Mountain of Stuff is capped off with a 272-page hardback Warhammer Age of Sigmar core book. It's a treasure trove of gorgeous art, in-depth background information, including a fold-out cosmology of the mortal realms, exploration of each of the eight realms told from the perspective of their inhabitants. This book also contains all of the core and advanced rules you need to play, First Blood Battle Pack, and the Path to Glory Battle Pack. Rounding out things is a deck of 17 cards which contains the season rules and battle plans for 2024 to 25 match play season general handbook. You can start honing your tactical notes from the world to go. So here's what we got. There are also pre-order bonuses. Pre-order from the web store or the terminal from your local Warhammer store, you get a set of six metal objective tokens. If you wait till the release date of July 30, 13th, sorry, buy your box of the local Warhammer store, you receive a set of command point tokens. Ask one of the friendly store staff for details while stocks last. If you pre-order from participating independent stockists, you get a hard stockists, you get a hardback notebook themed after Skaven Tide. Ask the store for details. So a fancy book. Fancy book. <laughs> Jesus, the title. <laughs> Uh, we also have book. We have Skaven Tide book. Tying with the release of the new edition of Warhammer Age of Sigmar, there's a gripping new novel from Gary Kloster, Skaven Tide. Deep in the heart of the Skaven apocalypse, the Stormcast Eternals of the Ruination Chamber fight for their survival. Within this blighted wasteland lies a prize, a lost Stormcast Eternal who carries with him an ancient and forbidden knowledge. Should the Skaven claim him, it'll surely spell doom for Akshi. The race is on for the hour of ruin begins. Be able to pre order in hardback, ebook, and audiobook. We also have a fancy cover, ooh, with the, uh, pant the painted edges. Also available in a beautiful royal blue special edition in the colors of the Hallowed Knight. Green printed artwork complemented by silver foil on the front and spine, alongside blue page edges and a blue ribbon bookmark. Features a regular full color art inside, signed by the author. As a special edition, they are limited to one copy per order. It's a pretty book! As much as I don't like the limited edition stuff, like, the books always look very pretty. They're very pretty. Let's see, on Warhammer Plus, Age of Sigmar Train keeps rolling. First Spearhead episode of Battle Report. Presenter Nick is taking command of the, special, of the Spectral Night Haunt, duking it out with an extremely formidable opponent. Sam from the Warhammer Studio, one of the minds behind the Spearhead game mode. He's rather them a horde of grots and squeaks united on their lunar banner of the Gloomspite Gits. And then Masterclass, you're looking at rats. Desaturated skin tones, clumps of fur, blend them together for a natural look. Oh, and the tails as well. All the fleshy bits for the raddies. Uh, let's see, you can also get your appetite for the grubby underside of the mortal realms watching a free episode of Hammer and Bolter on Warhammer TV. Undercity finds witch hunter Hammy and Toll and his long-suffering associate uh, Armin Cullis investigating the mysterious disappearance of a person of importance in Hammer Hall Aksha. Callus and Toller are among the marrying characters that put around a ground-level view of the mortal realms. This episode is a great exploration of the darker, grittier side of Sigmar and the Hour of Ruin approaches. And that's all we got. I wonder how good the book is. The books are a little hit or miss. Yeah. I can only do a bit of Warhammer. <laughs> is it a good episode? Well, if you guys want to catch that, make sure you catch that uh, this week for free. And that's what we got. I'm going to do the, the scroll back up. If you guys want to check out, here's the uh, pre-order stuff. I mean, I like that they're themed after the armies. That's cool. Fun little stuff you can pick up, depending on where you pre-order. But that's all we got, chat. That's a, that's a lot of miniatures. <laughs> like, I thought Dominion was a lot of miniatures. I know we, we meme on too many Dominion being available, but, like, it was a serious amount of minis in that box, and this is even more. This is nuts. Milgar is the goat. I need to read his book. Everyone, everyone loves that character, and I just don't know much about him. All right, chat. Well, that's what I got. I feel bad, Mouse Fate. I'm going to be ending a little early because we are still Elden ringing. I'm still... That's my entire brain right now. So we're going to end a little early today. But I want to make sure we do the article together, talk Skeeve and Tide together. Uh, we will be back tomorrow. I don't know with what, <laughs> if I'm honest. We might be building some Kingdom Death. I mean, we could keep working on the intercessors if we if we feel like it. I'll see what we're what we're feeling tomorrow. Go forth, tarnished. I know it's hard. <laughs> Gonna get some. I, I spurn you for video games this week. I'm sorry. I'm too lost in it. Been looking forward to it for too long. So we're gonna do that. Let me uh, transition over here for our our outro.
But yeah, if you want to see what else I am working on, here are my socials. I don't hate you. <laughs> the fact that I took two hours away from Elden Ring should tell you how much I love you, Chad. The fact that I came here for two hours when I could be ramming my face against something <laughs> shows you how much I love you. Elden Lung is <laughs> too strong. There are my socials. You can also come join us in the Discord, which is where we're hanging out in between streams. And then YouTube. I think our Dead Space playthrough goes up tomorrow. I can't remember which day I, uh, I scheduled it for, but it should be up here the next day or so if it's not already. So that is there. But yeah, thank you everyone for coming to hang out this morning. I really appreciate it. Thank you for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.